start with DNA replication. It is semi conservative and semi discontinuous. The various steps in DNA replication are
Now these diagrams they show uh, various steps in DNA replication. First of all, there is formation of replication fork, where uh, two strands of DNA they separate from each other. Then a molecule of RNA, which is known as RNA primer, it join at five dash end of new strand present opposite to three prime end of template strand. So one RNA primer is formed on this template, another RNA primer is formed on second template. In DNA replication, both strands, they function as template. Now after formation of RNA primer, activated nucleotide, that is deoxyribonucleoside triphosphate, come opposite to complementary nucleotide of template strand. Now, two terminal phosphate radical, they separate from activated nucleotide as pyrophosphate. Now this pyrophosphate undergo hydrolysis and uh, produce two molecules of inorganic phosphate and energy is released during this step. So this activated nucleotide, that is deoxyribonucleoside triphosphate perform two functions. One function, it is producing substrate for DNA polymerization. Second, it is producing energy for polymerization reaction. Now this activated DNA nucleotide, it convert into normal DNA nucleotide. Now, Another DNA nucleotide come at three prime end of already existing DNA nucleotide. Now same, this uh, activated DNA nucleotide, it become normal nucleotide. Now in this diagram, this is RNA primer. This is normal DNA nucleotide, which is present towards three dash end of RNA primer. This is another DNA nucleotide which is present towards three dash end of this nucleotide. Now, phosphodiester bond is formed between adjacent DNA nucleotide of new strand which is under formation. Now there is no requirement of RNA primer. So DNA polymerase one, DNA polymerase one enzyme, it remove DNA polymerase one, it remove RNA primer and fill this gap. So when RNA primer is removed from this position, a gap appear and DNA polymerase one add DNA nucleotide in this position. Similarly, uh, RNA polymerase of this template is also removed by DNA polymerase one. So same steps occur in this template also. Now, this is uh, DNA nucleotide, another DNA nucleotide, another nucleotide will join here. So one strand is formed opposite to this template and one new strand is formed opposite to this template. Now DNA is coiled at this position. Now this portion of DNA uncoiled. When this part of DNA uncoiled, now these are newly exposed parts of DNA strands. Now, this end is three dash end. New DNA nucleotide can come and join here. So, this strand continue its formation. But here, this end is five dash end. And DNA nucleotide, it will not join at this end. So, again, a new RNA primer is required, which is produced at five dash end of new strand. And this RNA primer, it will form its fragment. RNA primer is forming its fragment. Now this is first fragment formed, this is second fragment formed, and these are known as Okazaki fragments. Now this part is again uh, coiled part. Now this coiled part again become uncoiled and when this part become uncoiled, then on this template 
new strand formation uh, remain continuous. And on other template, again, a new Okazaki fragment is formed. That is, each Okazaki fragment require its own RNA primer for its formation. Now, in this diagram, this template is having one continuous strand, and uh, this template is having three Okazaki fragments. Now, each Okazaki fragment require its own RNA primer for formation, but this RNA primer is removed by DNA polymerase one enzyme. Enzyme ligase will join Okazaki fragments and result in formation of new complete strand, which is known as lagging strand. The strand which is formed continuously is known as leading strand and strand which is producing discontinuously it is known as lagging strand. Now one thing which is very clear uh, from this diagram, that is leading strand and lagging strand. Formation is in 5 to 3 direction. DNA polymerase 3, which is main enzyme of DNA replication, it polymerized in 5 to 3 direction. But growth of lagging strand occur in 3 to 5 direction. Growth means this is fragment number one, it will join to fragment number two, then it will join to fragment number three. So if we consider growth of lagging strand, then direction will be three to five, but formation will be in five to three direction. Now, uh, this DNA replication, which is known as semi-discontinuous because one strand is produced continuously, one DNA strand is produced discontinuously, therefore it is semi-discontinuous. And uh, this is new DNA molecule, this is another DNA molecule. In each DNA molecule, only one parental strand is conserved, therefore it is known as semi-conservator. Now another important uh, point is that leading strand is formed on template having polarity 3 to 5 and lagging strand is formed on template having polarity 5 to 3. Now, in uh, when new strands are formed and when two DNA molecules are formed, one process which occurs simultaneously, it is proofreading of uh, uh, DNA molecule which is synthesized. Proofreading is performed by DNA polymerase 1. Now, uh, when there is polymerization of DNA nucleotide, uh, very often wrong nitrogen bases, they get inserted. Now, DNA polymerase 1, it remove wrong nitrogen base from new DNA strand and uh, insert correct nitrogen bases in uh, new DNA strand. So, this is known as proofreading. In prokaryote, DNA polymerase, it is of three types. One is DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2, and DNA polymerase 3. DNA polymerase 1, it is main proofreading enzyme. It remove RNA primer and it fill the gap which appear after removal of RNA primer. Then DNA polymerase 3, which is main polymerizing enzyme, but it can perform proofreading also. And third enzyme, which is uh, not very prominent enzyme of DNA replication, it is DNA polymerase 2. It can perform both functions, that is polymerization activity as well as uh, uh, proofreading activity. Uh, during DNA replication, the uncoiling of two strands it uh, does not occur in single stretch, but uncoiling occur in very small steps because uncoiling require huge amount of energy. So uncoiling is uh, in various uh, steps. So all these diagrams are indicating that uh, uh, when one DNA molecule replicate, two daughter DNA molecules are produced and uh, both new strands are produced in 5 to 3 direction.